Hi friend, my name is Kailash. I am today going to show my model to understand you what is Ramchandra plot. Before going to start, you know the amino acid has an amine group which I have shown by red color and which is attached to an one hydrogen and it have two bonds and there is a carboxyl groups this is this is an oxygen this is an carbon and the middle one this is an carbon which have tetrahedral structure when we connect all this is an hydrogen atom and this is an this may be any r group of an amino acid when we join the all it become an amino acid you know the amino acid has an amide group amine group and carboxyl group and the r group and the one is hydrogen group the this is one amino acid when it is bind to other amino acid what happen let's see it will form an bond between two amino acid so in this we will see that there there is rotation between there are three three rotation possible in this chain that is what one is the rotation between the amine group and the alpha carbon which is next to the peptide bond this is an alpha carbon the rotation between the nitrogen bond and the alpha carbon is called as fire fire rotation and the rotation which is between the alpha carbon and the carbon is called as psi rotation and the rotation which is not possible between the peptide bond is called as omega rotation uh, the the reason behind this that this rotate this bond is not rotated is that it has uh, the carboxyl group has a highly electronegative atom that is oxygen and the nitrogen has in the two lone pair because of this there is a shifting of electron from nitrogen to oxygen and they form an they form an resonance structure which is a partial double bond the partial double bond between these two atom will give it rigid structure hence the peptide bond is called as rigid structure has a rigid structure so when we see the atom we see the car the carbon nitrogen carbon nitrogen carbon uh, this all elements are in one plane so this uh, this can be shared at one plane whereas the other is this so what is happening when the alpha helix is formed they have the as a particular angle if i rotate it this as this so what happen when the omega rotation happen when i turn this make an omega omega rotation it will bring my two r group near which uh, if this r group is negative that is polar then it will repel so the cis conformation is not possible in this hence the trans uh, amino acid are mostly in the trans configuration that is oxygen at one end and the hydrogen at other end and this way the peptide bond i have make an many amino acid which will sequence as it is so i prepared this when the rotation is possible between the phi and psi rotation hence the uh, this knowledge is given by two scientists that is pauling and corey in 1906 hence this knowledge is used by ramchandra and make it a plot that is that is when the rotation uh, how much rotation is possible between psi and phi if we take this angle when we rotate it it will make an rotation and this leads to different structure of amino protein that is alpha helix beta beta sheet which is parallel and anti parallel in this ramchandra plot you will see that the ramchandra plot have two area that is allowed area and the partially allowed area that is the allowed area means the angle between an angle of psi, phi and psi is allowed for 
that amino acid and this area is not allowed for the uh, any angle between this area so the blue region is saying that there is no steric hindrance between the two amino acid hence the angle is allowed it and when we see the alpha helix the angle angle which is possible between this amino acid that is for phi for phi there is minus 57 and for psi there is minus 47 and each alpha helix turns include 3.6 amino acid and the alpha helix found in all protein is right handed and little bit a uh, left handed when we see the sh this plot we will see that the allowed area of uh, which will in the second quadrant which uh, the amino acid pre present in this is the anti parallel beta sheet parallel beta sheet and the collagen triple helix and the right twisted beta sheet and the semi permeable region that is in the first quadrant which is a little bit possible for left handed alpha helix hence this reason is for that the alpha helix are not much present and the for right handed alpha helix the third quadrant show the allowed area where the angle is possible hence we can take this advantage of Ramchandra flood to provide the number of allowed conformation and it also provide us the approximate numerical value for phi and psi rotate psi torsion angle today the ramchandra plot is not only a basic diagram in textbook on protein structure but also a useful tool for assessing the correctness of protein structure determination thank you